Our next question is from Deirdre. Sure. She says, can you still experience grief if you don't experience any fear? I've only experienced fear, shaking legs, twice, yet I've been emotional, that is crying, a lot more than twice. Mm. Well, as I've pointed out in many occasions, women generally would prefer to feel grief than fear. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the kind of grief they're feeling is not the causal emotional grief that's going to heal them, but rather the rebellion grief uh, of not getting their addictions met. So I would suggest to Deidre that mostly what she's experiencing is not her causal emotional grief, but rather the rebellious addiction grief that comes from having a tantrum and not having your addictions met. Yep. Because the reality is you won't get below your fear into your causal grief unless you're willing to feel your fear. Yep. And if you've only felt your fear twice you know, and a very short period of time, then I would suggest that you're quite resistive to feeling fear. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you've probably got quite a lot of addictions and therefore you've got a lot of crying to do when those addictions don't get met. Mm -hmm. And what happens to the average person when their addictions don't get met is they feel, they cry or they get upset, but the reality is it's not causal grief that they're experiencing. And the proof of that is that their life isn't changing. Yeah. And I know Deidre as well, and I know that while her life has changed a little, it hasn't changed very much. Yeah. And that's an indication that she's not getting to causal grief, even though she's done a lot of crying. Yeah. So what she's doing is actually what I'd call rebellion or tantrum. It's a, it's a grief that you experience when your addictions do not get met. Mm -hmm. You're far better off to focus on your addictions in a more positive manner and have a good look at them and analyse them and feel about them. Feel the actual addictions in play. Feel why, why they are unloving. Most of what happens to us in, in terms of our life is the cause of what the choices that we have made that are, that are unloving. And most of us are making choices every single moment of every day that are unloving while we believe they're loving. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the sad thing about our life. And this is why most people have not progressed very well on the divine love path because to actually get to causal emotion which heals you, you have to be very, very honest with yourself. And the majority of people are not that honest with themselves, unfortunately. <laughs> they, they cry and they go, oh, AJ says that it's good to cry because they're feeling my emotion. I'm feeling my emotion. Isn't it wonderful? I'm crying. I should be progressing. Oh, five years later, it still feels like I'm crying about the same issues. But, you know, why aren't I progressing? Oh, all this divine truth stuff's all crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and that's where the average person goes. Mm -hmm. But they go that direction because they're not actually honest with themselves. They haven't felt any causal grief. They've only felt their grief that comes from not having their addictions met. Yep. And that kind of grief is a tantrum and it does not heal anything. In fact, it is a projection out onto the world or other people that actually is harmful to you and the other person. So it actually degrades your condition feeling that kind of grief mm -hmm. rather than looking at what's underneath it. Yep. So while you're allowed to feel your emotions of grief if you want to, that you've self-deludedly created, it's not going to benefit you in the long run. You need to get into feeling the addiction you have and then feeling the fear that drives it. And when you do that, then you'll start to actually feel quite a lot of grief. Mm -hmm. And uh, the average person has quite a lot of grief to feel, you know. And it wouldn't surprise me if the average person starts getting into their grief. Uh, once they get into it fully and, and open-heartedly, it might take them a few years to feel through all of their grief yeah. because it, it, it usually took 15 years for it to enter them. Mm -hmm. And so there's quite a lot of it. Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay, thanks. Mm.